Hey everyone, this is gonna be a video about rendering problems because I always have them and I'm pretty sure you have uh, already met the error message of Vegas when it says that the computer is too low on memory or it just gives you an error window which you can not do anything about, just exit out or uh, click OK and then the program shuts down. Vegas might not render your video out for several reasons. For example, if you want to render it out uh, with your coloring on already, that can be a problem, or it won't render out because you have too much motion blur at some point and you uh, want to render that out, or it just won't render because Vegas can be a pain in the ass but I'm gonna show you what I do these times so for example I have this uh, section right here and uh, if I try to render it out with the coloring on and uh, also with motion blur at some parts uh, it most likely will not render it. So what I advise is to render it out without the coloring first. And after you rendered out your part, you import it back into Vegas. And I already did that here. I'm just gonna uh, make this solo so the other uh, tracks are gonna be uh, on mute so they won't show. And then I'm gonna add the uh, coloring and when it's uh, added to the video, I'm gonna render this one out. And uh, if you have motion blur, I would advise to make this in three steps. So for example, first, render out the uh, video with all of these uh, effects going on, and then render it out with the motion blur on, and then render it out with the coloring on, and most likely Vegas will handle this uh, more easily than if you would uh, add all these things and try to render it uh, that way. When you render out your uh, section with the uh, edited pieces and then you import it back, I'm just gonna do it so you will see what I mean. So I import back this uh, rendered out video and drag it on the timeline. I would advise you to uh, delete the audio track of the imported in video because uh, if you render it out one or two or three times you will notice that the audio is not gonna stay in the same place for some reason so your video is gonna lag a little bit and it can be noticeable and I didn't notice this uh, when I started reading and uh, after I realized what was happening I was so mad for my previous videos so I advise you to delete the audio track of the imported uh, in r uh, video and just use the one that uh, you have um, in the project file where you have your uh, individual pictures and clips and blah, blah, blah. and then always use this uh, audio track when you import in the rendered out video. This has worked for me in the past so rendering out in steps so the uh, raw video without anything on it and then rendering it out with the motion blur if I had some and then rendering the whole thing out with uh, coloring on. But sometimes your project just won't render out that way either because you have too many things in the project and what I do when that happens is make copies for example of that project and then delete most of it just leaving some of the parts so divide it into 20 second parts and I'm gonna show you what I mean by this because when I was doing one of my videos it just wouldn't render out so you can see that I had one, two, three, four, five parts, uh, five project files about the same video. And you will see that uh, when I open this one, I uh, only have the middle 30 seconds in the video left uh, in this project because I deleted every other picture that I used before that section and after that section uh, because uh, that way it just won't render for me. So as you can see, I had a lot of similar pictures and videos right here and right after this, but in this one I deleted everything right here and there and just left this part in. So what I did is render this one out and, do and I did this with every single, so this was part 1, this was part 2, and this was part 3, 4, 5 and uh, when I had all of these pieces rendered out, I uh, placed them right one after the other, but I paid very close attention 
to the timing to be right so that uh, it wouldn't uh, go off beat or something so it takes some time and it takes some paying attention but at least this way I could uh, render out the whole video and when I place these uh, five parts next to each other and I know that they are where they should be I rendered out this whole video and then added the coloring and then rendered it out again so I hope you found this helpful and let me know if you have any other uh, rendering out tips or if you have any questions see you soon guys bye